my friends did you enjoy it I give you the link this is where you need to go to see not just uh, the audio version with the link that I provided to you go straight to Twitter X and then you will see the interview and it's a powerful interview absolutely amazing interview as well Elon Musk a great mind Elon Musk they didn't succumb to the left wing far left wing ideology but they embraced common sense embraced logic embraced facts <sighs> I so sad that the Western world embraces uh, emotions and uh, the reality, quote unquote reality, that is defined by emotions. What kind of reality that is? You tell me. Is that reality? I feel this way, so that means. And then you feel, you feel the gaps that I leave in the sentence. I think about me this way. So because I think about me this way my perception of reality it's way more important and stronger than the reality itself and then uh, people are twisting reality for the, to, the poor reality to fit what they feel and what they think can we twist reality in such a way to fit what we want is reality something so subjective some people might argue that yeah reality is subjective but uh, you know even great um, Albert Einstein came with this theory of relativity what this theory of relativity means theory of relativity means one and one thing only that the reality in which we live is relative <laughs> that means subjective it means uh, what is real for me might not be real for you what is good for me might not be good for you my definition of morality might not be your definition of morality and so on and so forth but if we live in a world in which all of us we define our own reality then comes chaos and chaos there is the Western society embraces chaos like a warm blanket, but it's not a warm blanket. Chaos, objective reality is a warm blanket, not chaos and subjective reality. We need to embrace reality as it is, and reality is defined only by one thing and one thing only. Let's see what will you say here. What if I'll tell you that reality is defined only by God's word? The reality is defined only by God and God alone. You open the Bible and then you find the objective, objective reality. It's not reality based on human emotions. It's not reality based on human understanding. It's not reality based on our ever-changing way of thinking or perceiving things. Now we feel someone close to our heart. We embrace that person and we call it we call that person dear friend tomorrow we might change our emotions and feelings and perception about that person and we'll push that person away because our emotions our feelings our understanding changed today we might think that this very thing that i want to do is not really the right thing and tomorrow something might happen that will change my perception of reality and then i'll think that uh, you know what actually i want to do this Reality, reality, good and evil, they are not subjective and they do not depend on our understanding. God is the creator of everything and he has definition for right, wrong, destructive, good for us, sin and righteous. He has the right definition for everything under the sun. So why would you look for definitions somewhere else but to God? 
I want. Many times I fall, like all of us, as we go through this life, we will fall. As we go through this life, we will experience as well moments of hardships. Because uh, they are a part of this world. This world is as it is. It's not the best reality for us to live in, but we are here for now. So we need to survive here. We need to fight to be efficient. We are more than victorious here. And we can be more than victorious not through our own strength. Do you remember what the Word of God says? We are more than victorious to Christ and Christ alone. How can we accomplish this? Through our own strength? <laughs> I've tried more than 20 years since I am a Christian and I fell miserably every single time. I tried on my own strength. I tried to be a good Christian. I tried to be a moral person. I tried to be good in everything that I am. Maybe father, maybe husband, maybe brother, maybe son, uncle, I don't know. Things like that. And I failed because I tried through my own strength. I didn't understand that my own reality is subjective, isn't it? So we come to God and then our understanding of life and reality becomes subjective. This discussion between Jordan Peterson and Elon Musk was a, a tentative of Jordan Peterson to bring Elon Musk to the objective reality, the true reality, the only reality, not our only reality. We imagine reality according to our own understanding, and that's not real reality. Elon Musk heard John, uh, Jordan Peterson, and Jordan Peterson was talking to him about an objective reality, God's reality. Where uh, <clears throat> gender is not, uh, in God's reality, gender is man, woman. Uh, gender is not a spectrum because gender is not uh, autism. Yeah. In God's reality, gender is clear, man and woman. In God's reality, good <clears throat> is good. And evil is evil and it's not in between. Black and white. In God's reality. Life is way more easier if we report our understanding and our life to God's reality. And then we will realize that if we feel in a certain way that goes against God's reality, then we need help. And, and God will help us. God will not allow us to fall deep down and deeper and deeper into the pit. And him just to look at us and see how we struggle, and uh, that's it. <clears throat> God will do his best to take us out from that pit and to explain to us what's right and what's wrong. That's what you've seen in this big interview. That's what you heard, actually, <laughs> in this big interview. And I hope and pray that you enjoy it. And if you want the video version, I said to you, <laughs> go there on X Twitter and you watch it. And if you're not subscribed to Jordan Peterson, is anyone not following Jordan Peterson on uh, X Twitter? Anyone there? I don't think there is anyone that doesn't follow Jordan Peterson on Twitter. And if, if it happens that you're one of those very few, see? That's what you need to do. Smack hard that button of following, subscribing. Uh, all that awesome content that Jordan is doing, because Jordan is a, you know, an intellectual giant, all that content will come to you as well in your feed. If you are on Twitter, at least for uh, Jordan Peterson, go on Twitter X. Have an account there. Loads and loads of interesting things on Twitter. Loads and loads of content there. <laughs> if you are a YouTuber like me. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening as well to my comments, reaction. It was awesome to be able to do this. I have your other friends. Well, <clears throat> let's not forget the music. 
The music is from my friend David Lastra. His YouTube channel is Deep Instrumental. Don't forget to follow him. See you soon.